Good morning, Pace Eagles. I'm Blaze Daubert. And I'm Jacob Why Not. Dude. Three, three day, day weekend! weekend. <laughs> now off to you, Ms. Tapley, for the pledges. Good morning, Eagles. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pace Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We at PACE pledge to treat everyone with fairness, kindness, and respect. So Blaze, what are you doing for the long weekend? Man, I'm just relaxing. That's cool. Now let's see what everyone else has to say. So what are you doing on the teacher work day? I'm probably going to play video games or something like that. So what are you doing on your day off? I'm gonna watch a movie with my family. So what are you doing on your day off? I'm gonna hang out with some friends. Yeah. So what are you doing for teacher work day next week? I'm gonna play video games. So what are you doing for teacher work day next week? I'm going skydiving onto alligator. So what are you doing for teacher work day next week? I'm gonna go to the Bahamas. So what are you doing for teacher work day next week? I'm probably gonna hang out with some friends or play some video games. Okay. So what are you doing for teacher work day? I will be sleeping. So what are you doing for teacher work day? I will be playing some games. So what are you doing for teacher work day? Uh, that's a good question. I'm gonna be at FSU for parent weekend, doing a run and watching the game. Jacob, do you know who Joe DiMaggio married? I don't know who that Joe is, but James does. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Plate. Today we'll be talking about Joe DiMaggio. Here's some fun and interesting information that I found about him. He popularized drinking coffee. He also fought in World War II for three years. And he almost didn't make it into baseball because of an injury. And he also was married to the famous actress Marilyn Monroe. That's all for today. See you next time. Jacob, who do you think's going to win the Duke Notre Dame game? I don't know. But I know who does. Sophia and Ty on College Game Day. Welcome back to another episode of College Game Day. I'm Ty Crafton. And I'm Sophia Juarez. The first game is USC at Colorado at noon. I have USC winning by two touchdowns because Caleb Williams won the Heisman last year and he's looking for his second consecutive award. I remember on week one that Colorado won against last year's national runner-up, TCU. Also, the Trojans have an accurate quarterback who is described as the best player in the Pac-12. So given a choice between those two teams, I'd say the Trojans. The next game is Florida at Kentucky at noon. I have Kentucky winning big in this game. Go Wildcats! I'd say the opposite, because I remember the Gators won against a number 11 seed, Tennessee. Chomp, chomp, chomp. The next game is Notre Dame at Duke at 7.30. I have Notre Dame winning big because Sam Hartman is playing outstanding throughout the season. Last game, he threw for 330 yards and three touchdown passes against Central Michigan. I agree with you. Same here. The last game is LSU at Ole Miss at 6. I have LSU winning by a touchdown because Jaden Daniels is playing 
great this season so far. Go Tigers. Great choice. LSU is going to dominate in Mississippi. I'm not lying. See you next week for another episode of College Game Day. Today is not just another day, but another possible chance to achieve what you couldn't achieve yesterday. So get on your feet and chase after your success. That's all for today, Pace Eagles. Yep. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.